Hello everyone, this is Arohi and in this video, I'll talk about Lenate Convolutional Neural Network. So, convolutional neural networks are the foundation of deep learning based computer vision. And Lenate was a first convolutional neural network and it was used to classify two dimensional images. Two dimensional images means grayscale images. The time when Lenate was developed, at that time there was no GPU to help training and even CPUs were very slow due to which high resolution images can't be used to train Lenit. So Lenit was trained on grayscale images and the shape of images are 32 into 32 into 1 means the height and width of the image is 32 and the number of channels are 1. Number of channel equals to 1 simply means we are talking about grayscale images. And the goal of Lenit is to recognize handwritten digits on bank checks. So over here, if you see this picture, so these are the different, um, you know, handwritten digits. And this is what Lenit is giving us the results. It is recognizing those digits. So this is the goal of Lenit. So this is the basically the task which Lenit performed was the handwritten, uh, it recognized handwritten digits. Now I'll show you the layer structure of Lenit. So see, Lenit's layer structure was very simple. There are only seven layers in the structure. I'll discuss each layer one by one. So I just, just told you the input to this Lenit network is 32 into 32 into 1. So this would be the, the this image, this the image of this size would be the input to this network, right? So this is our first convolutional layer. Over here, you can see I have written 5 into 5 and then I have written 6 filters. So what I am trying to say over here is that first convolutional layer will have 6 filters of size 5 by 5 and stride we are using in first layer is 1. Right? So when we input this 32 into 32 into 1 image to this layer, to the first convolutional layer, then after this convolutional operation, the output of this layer would be 28 into 28 into 6. Now if you see the input and output, the size of image and even the number of channels are different. Over here the size of image is 32 into 32 when we input this image. But after applying this convolutional operation, the image size becomes 28 into 28 and the number of channels uh, are also 6. Earlier it was 1 but now it is 6. Now how we are getting number of channels is equal to 6. So see number of channels always depend upon the number of filters which we have used in the image. So number of channels would always be same to the number of filters we have used in the image. Uh, sorry layer. So we have used 6 filters so that's why the number of channels are 6 and the image size reduced to 28 into 28, right? And then we have max pooling layer. What pooling layer does? See, the task of pooling layer is to reduce the size of image and for reducing the size of image, we are using this pooling layer and this pooling layer is using a filter of a slide window of 2 by 2 and we are using slide is equal to 2. See, over here, this is very important to uh, see in convolutional operations, if you see the whole network in convolutional operations, we are using stride 1 and in pooling operations, we are using stride 2. Why we are using stride 2 in pooling operation? Because when we use stride 2, your image will automatically get shrink. Your image will get reduced. Right? So, after applying this max pool layer, what is the, okay, what is the input to this max pool layer? The output of previous layer will become the input of next layer. So that means the output of previous layer is this. So this will become the input to max pool layer. That means the input to max pool layer is 28 into 28 into 6. Right? And when we apply this pooling operation on it, the output of this pooling layer is 14 into 14 into 6. Right? Our image size got reduced over here. So okay, uh, let me show you mathematically like how this size is getting reduced layer by layer. Actually, there is one mathematical formula behind it. I'll show you that formula for the first two layers. In the same way, you can apply the same formula for other layers. 
and you will see like to, you will be getting these um, the, these sizes of images okay so let me show you practically so this is the first layer the input of input to first layer is this size of image and in first layer we are saying like we want to have six filter of size 5 by 5 and stride is one right these are the parameters so we need to use this formula the formula is n plus 2p minus f by s plus 1 into n plus 2p minus f by s plus 1 now what is n over here n means the image size so our n is 32 so that's why i put 32 over here right and then we have this 2p right 2 into p p means padding so we are not using padding in this so that's why that means padding is 0 so if you multiply 0 with 2 you'll get 0 right then minus f this f is a filter size so our filter size is 5 by 5 so that's why we've written 5 over here and this s means stride and in our case stride is 1 so we have mentioned 1 over here in the same way you will fill the same values on this side so when you solve this formula you will get 28 28 from here and 28 from here into 6 how we are getting this 6 because we are running 64 uh, sorry we are running 6 such filters now output of this layer is 28 into 28 into 6 means this will become the input to pooling layer. See first we have convolutional layer and after this convolutional operation we have this value now. Now we'll apply, we'll give this input to max pool layer and we have window size of 2 by 2 and stride is 2 in this case. Let's solve this equation also. So input is this 28 into 28 into 6, filter size is 2 into 2, stride is 2 and padding is 0. Formula is same, we need to fill the values in this also. N is 28 because the image size is this. And padding is again 0 and F filter size is 2. Right? In the same way, you will fill value in this side. And when you will solve it, you will get 14 into 14 into 6. Means after this max pool layer, you will get output. 14 into 14 into 6 means this is our image after running one convolutional layer and then pooling layer. Now this 14 into 14 into 6 will become input to the next layer and the next layer is convolutional layer. Right? And in this convolutional layer also we have a filter size of 5 by 5 but this time we are running 16 such filters. Right? And padding is 0 and stride is 1. So, by applying the same formula which I have just shown you, by applying that formula on this image and by using these parameters, we will get this 10 into 10 into 16. Now, see we are having 16 channels. Earlier, we were having 6 channels. Over here, we were having 6 channels because we were using 6 filter in the convolutional layer. But now, in this convolutional layer, we are using 16 filters. So, as I have just told you, the number of filters will become the number of channel of that particular image. And this image got reduced to 10 into 10 when we solved that particular formula. Now, this will become the input to next pooling layer. So, again the task of pooling layer is to reduce the size and we are using stride is equal to 2 and the filter size is 2 by 2. When you will apply the formula, you will get this 5 into 5 into 60. Alright. So, this, see, first four layers are convolutional operation. So, in these first four layers, we have performed convolutional layer. Means, we have reduced the size of image from 32 into 32 into 1 to 5 into 5 into 16. Number of channels were increased, but the size of image got shrinked, right? Now, we want to perform the classification task. Remember, Linet was developed to recognize handwritten digits on checks. So, now we want to perform that classification task, recognition task. So, for that, we need to convert our two-dimensional image into a one-dimensional um, array, right? Into a one-dimensional vector. So, how we can um, convert our two-dimensional image into a one-dimensional vector? You just need to multiply this. 5 into 5 into 16 is equal to 400 pixels right 
so now we have this 400 pixels we will give these 400 pixels to the next layer and the next layer is fully connected layer and this layer have 120 neurons means these 400 neurons will go to the 120 neurons of next fully connected layer then this particular layer every every neuron will process these uh, pixels and then it will pass it to a next fully connected layer and this next fully connected layer have 84 neurons and then finally we have the last layer and in this last layer we have 10 neurons why we are having 10 neurons because this is a digit recognition task and digits lies between 0 to 9 that means 10 different classes so for every class we need one neuron so that's why we have 10 neurons over here and the activation function which we are using here is softmax activation function and this function will return us a list of probabilities it will basically give us one you know one probability value for each of the 10 class labels and the class label with the highest probability value will be the final output of the network so this is the layer structure of lnet so how many layers we have we have in total seven layers out of these seven layers we have two convolutional layer this and this two convolutional layer and we have two pooling layers and then we have three fully connected layer and in final layer we are having 10 neurons just because we are performing digit recognition and we want to recognize digits and digits lies between 0 to 9 every neuron will one neuron will store one kind of output right so this is the layer structure of um, uh, lnet so what happened in this whole network was that our image actual uh, actual images of this size and after going through um, these seven layers our image got reduced to this means after the convolutional operation our image got reduced to this size and then we converted this two-dimensional image into a one-dimensional um, vector and then we have passed it through through two fully connected layers and then we have final layer which is performing the classification we are performing classification using softmax activation function right so now in my next tutorial i'll show you practically i'll show you the uh, i'll design a layer structure practically and i'll show you how to implement lnet so please if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching